A home daycare owner in Tooele facing a possible child endangerment charge after a two-year-old got sick while in her care and later tested positive for marijuana. But police can't say yet how the little girl got a hold of it. News specialist Lindsay Eretz has been digging into the details and joins us. Lindsay, what is this child's mom saying happened? Yeah, Shara and Mike, well, the mom believes that the owner of the Little Rays of Sunshine Daycare, Becky Elwood, is responsible for this. But Alyssa Martinez says this happened on November 1st. She showed up to pick her daughter up from daycare, and she was found unresponsive. Layla Martinez is a happy, healthy two-year-old now. That wasn't the case on November 1st when her mom, Alyssa, says she went to pick her up from her daycare called Little Rays of Sunshine. She looked very incoherent, limp, unresponsive. She looked dead to me. Martinez says Layla spent 16 hours that way after doctors found THC in her system. It was really scary. Not knowing if she was going to wake up. For how little she is, I did not know what it could do to her. Little Rays of Sunshine is a state-licensed in-home child care facility run by Becky Elwood. A report by Twilla Police detectives confirmed the drug in Layla's system. Martinez claims that police detectives told her that Elwood admitted to having a medical marijuana a card. Tooele Police Lieutenant Jeremy Hansen couldn't confirm that. So I'm not going to get into medical information. The detective's report does show that they searched the home, saying Elwood did tell investigators she keeps marijuana there, but nothing was found. That report also says one of Elwood's daughters, Abigail, who was caring for Layla, also told detectives that kids had Smarties and Cheerios that day. But as for how the drug got in the house and how Layla got a hold of it... Well, that's something that we, we don't have any definitive proof either. Either way on that. The owner's claiming that she believes that it came in through uh, one of the children's diaper bags, but there again, we have no way to co cooperate that in any way. Elwood didn't want to speak when we knocked on her door. Hi, Becky. Hi, I'm Lindsay. I have, no, I have nothing to say. Thank you. Are you sure? Yep. We just want to hear your side of the story. I have nothing Very to cool. say. Okay. Is it Still, Tooele police are recommending a charge of child endangerment against Elwood because it was her home. I want other families aware of that daycare because uh, they're responsible for this. Now, again, uh, Elwood faces one count of child endangerment and former char uh, formal charges, that is, uh, would be coming from the Tooele County prosecutors. We'll keep you informed on this case. For now, reporting live, I'm Lindsay Ertz. Yeah, we will certainly continue to follow this. Lindsay, thank you.